Hello, I'm Jill Carlson and welcome to another jam-packed Chicago District Golfer TV. Magical, mystical, unique. Words perfectly describing Aaron Hills located just outside of Brewtown. This public course walking only, I might add, has only been open for five years and it's already landed the 2017 U.S. Open and this summer's U.S. Amateur. The Ultimate Driving Tour is brought to you by BMW. This land was once hundreds of acres of rolling Wisconsin farmland. Then the architecture team of Herds and Fry and Witten came along and sculpted it into a true test of golf, a walk in the park you'll remember forever. This is more of a Lynx style golf course um, with a lot of rolling terrain. Um, the wind, certain the elements are a challenge. It's usually windy here. Uh, it has a lot of length and of course the fescue. The, the greens have some pretty good undulation and we can get them to any speed you need to be so they're pretty tough. The the actual playability of the golf course it has that Lynx style feel and the Irish Scottish feel to it. Yes it does. Recent renovations to Aaron Hills have made the course more fair than it was previously. Over 300 trees were removed, greens were expanded, and cart paths eliminated. With the exception of the greens and tees, the tracks also played entirely on fescue grass, giving it an ideal Lynx feel. Well, we have 652 acres on property. Um, we've invested a lot into the golf course over the last two and a half years, uh, tweaking some holes. Some, some changes were a little bit more dramatic, others were very subtle. Uh, we're at the point where our conditions are very good as we prepare for the U.S. Amateur. People can expect to come out here and have a great golf course to play. The United States Amateur will be coming to this Dairyland Delight in August. It'll be fun to watch the best non-professional players in the country attempt to tame this course, which can be stretched out to a whopping 7,800 yards plus from the tips. For the first time since 1997, uh, we are offering free admission and parking for all spectators. Um, so we really want to get uh, people out here to enjoy the experience. Um, this will be a great test for the players. Well, the state of Wisconsin has never hosted an amateur or an open. So, and as you know, with uh, the Bears and the Packers and the Cubs and the Brewers, there's a lot of, a lot of sports fans up here, and so I, I think they're all very excited to be able to come out and watch the greatest amateur players in the world. And of course, six years from now, some of the greatest players in the world for the Open. It's a bit rural out here, northwest of Brewtown, but you don't have to go far to find deluxe accommodations. Whether you're staying in the new four bedroom golf cottages or the quaint upstairs rooms in the lodge. And you'll be hard pressed to find a better 19th hole setup featuring an outside patio with fire pits and the cozy comforts of the pub adorned with vintage 18th century furniture. Now that we have the, the lodge, which is behind us here, we have 16 beds and we have three cottages that we just built. So we have 28 beds on the property. So it's becoming a destination where people park their car and give us their keys and stay here for a couple nights, play golf, and we have a fine restaurant and just a great atmosphere. The bottom line is you're coming to Aaron Hills to enjoy golf at its finest. The challenges are many, but they're fun challenges, from your tee shots to the rugged natural bunkering, all the way to the sloping green sites. It's really a treasure with a unique ethereal quality. You look to the east and you see Holy Hill and the spires in the background. That just kind of adds to the whole mystique of Aaron Hills. It's almost as if you know, this golf course was meant to be here. We should recognize the previous owner and visionary Bob Lang, whose passion for Aaron Hills was truly special. 